Hello everyone and welcome to our blog. Hedging.ie have recently launched a new website called laurelhedging.ie. Laurelhedging.ie offers customers a variety of laurel hedging products. Today we are here with Adrian, the founder and owner of Hedging.ie, who will discuss today's questions as sent in by you. I bought some laurel in a container last year, but in the last few weeks, I've noticed that the lower leaves seem to be turning yellow with brown spotted edges. I picked off several leaves, but the problem is still spreading. The problem with the leaves turning yellow could be several things. Um, Chances are it's soil related, uh, either that the soil is too wet and not enough drainage or that uh, the soil is too dry. If you can take out some soil and if you can squeeze water through your fingers with the soil is too wet, that's best uh, addressed by uh, adding some organic matter around the plants to arrange drainage or even put a small drain beside where the existing plants are to try and remove excess water if the problem is um, too much water. Question two. I've around 20 laurel hedges planted around the edge of the driveway. 15 of them are growing well, but two of them have always struggled and have now dropped most of their leaves. Is there anything I can do? All were planted last autumn by the same supplier. Are these not getting enough sun or water or are they infected so they need treatment? Do I need to worry and the other hedges will grow over them? Very similar to question one, it's probably soil related when the plants have been bought by the one supplier and were healthy when planted. Um, same again, take out the soil, squeeze it if it's too much water, address the problem with drainage. Could also be a disease problem, two main diseases in laurel are powdery mildew and uh, shot hole disease. Both normally don't kill the plants and can be overcome with maybe a bit of feeding, something like that, but can be addressed by chemical means. Um, suppose the powdery mildew, the main thing would have enough uh, airflow around the plants to carry away the mildew. Um, but chemical means is probably the best way of treating the problem if it is disease related. I planted a cherry laurel hedge last November. The original soil was full of clay and debris, so I dug the trenches out and filled with good quality topsoil mixed with some well rotted horse manure. I've ensured the plants were watered each evening during the dry weather. Most, much of the hedging now appears to be dying. Any advice on how to save the plants, if at all possible, would be very much appreciated. Chances are when the trench was dug out and good organic matter and good soil added that it's not a drainage issue or lack of water issue. Chances are it's either one of two things. It's disease related, uh, which we have addressed in previous question, which can be approached by chemical means or it could be a pH problem. Laurel is like a high pH, somewhere between 6.5 and 7, and if the organic matter and the soil that was put into the trench is not of that pH, you would just uh, cure the problem by adding some granulated lime. I have a bunch of cherry laurels, which are roughly five to six feet now. Growing too high in my opinion now. Some of these have new leaves coming up from almost grass level. What I want to do is promote this behaviour more, i.e. leaves coming out from the low branches so that I can trim the top to maintain the height. Is there any way I can encourage the plant to throw in new leaves and branches from the currently dry woody areas? If a laurel hedge is bare in the bottom, chances are that it's bare due to um, weeds and grass being allowed to grow each side of the hedge, which uh, means that light and air can't get in to encourage growth from the bottom. So the first thing to do is address the problem by removing weeds and grass from each side of the bottom of the hedge. This can be done by manual means or by chemical means. Um, and then the best thing to do would be probably to cut back your hedge, cut a foot or two off the top of your hedge. And this will encourage uh, growth, uh, new shoots to shoot from the woody area at the bottom of the plant, which will give you coverage from, when mature, will give you coverage from the ground up. Excuse my lack of understanding of the terms propagating and grafting plants. However, I have seen some videos where people cut a branch of the planted tree and join it with a cut branch of another similar plant and it joins and grows from there. I'm not sure on exactly the term for this, but is this possible on a cherry slash English laurel? 
If so, any advice on how to do it? Laurel is not done, normally done by grafting. Um, it's done by taking a semi-hardwood cutting and normally around September, October, um, removing the top shoot, sometimes adding a rooting compound and then just sticking in the ground and then it roots, uh, calluses and then roots over the winter should be showing roots again March, April. Thank you so much for watching. That's all the questions we have time for today. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments below and we will answer them either in the comment section or in our next post. Happy gardening!